So friends, here you can see one side of the cushion is finished. The back side and the front side are identical. So now I will start again and do the same once more and then we will connect two parts and we will be done. So this is a beginner friendly uh, pattern because there are no increases or decreases. So in that sense, it's quite easy, but um, it, it can be quite tricky for a beginner. Why? Because here we're changing colors and as we're changing colors, we're also changing the stitch pattern. But I'll show you how to do that in more than one way. So I'm sure you will nail it. Here I have started by casting on 92 stitches but don't take my word for it instead measure your cushion and knit a sample uh, with your yarn a sample of like 15 or 20 stitches and measure that and do the math start afterwards cast on as many stitches as you require so as i've said here i have 92 so now i will cast on 92 stitches again with my white yarn and i will start doing a garter stitch so you can do four lines of garter stitch as i did or you can do more if you want a thicker border or less just depending on your taste so let's begin by casting on so I've been casting on uh, some stitches now. I have 84 stitches here and I will finish to 92. So this is 85, 86, 87. I know everyone has a different way of uh, casting on. So please write down in the comments which, which method you find best. And also I have a video of uh, casting on using a crochet stitch. If you find these uh, finger methods difficult you can always check that out so 80 8 89 90 91 and 92 now I'll be a bit obsessive and I'll count them all to make sure I have 92 and then I will start doing garter stitch you know there are two ways of doing a garter stitch one way is doing a whole row of purl stitch and then going when you're going backwards doing purl stitch again or you can do front row knit stitch and the back knit stitch so i am used to doing purl purl so i will be purling both sides and i will do four full rows uh, until i start the pattern So if anyone needs a reminder of how to do purl stitch, here it goes. And I'll also link a video somewhere here on how to do that. So you enter the stitch from the right side, you wrap the yarn around, you exit and you pull. Let's do it again. Enter from the right side, wrap the yarn around, exit and pull. So this is what I'll be doing until the end. And when I turn back, I will do the exact same again. Enter from the right, wrap the yarn around, exit and pull. Enter from the right, wrap the yarn around, exit and pull. So this is purl stitch and I will do both sides of purl to get a good look of garter stitch. Like this okay I have finished the garter stitch border now let's inspect what's next so I told you before that we will start doing this pattern from the back side but let's understand the pattern first as you can see here I have six stitches of garter stitch and four stitches of knit stitches in between in the first row in the second row I have a full row of knit stitch Actually, I have two rows of full rows of knit stitch. Yeah, two rows of full knit stitch. Then I have another six garter for knit. But what's different is I don't start from the same point. I shift got the garter stitches. Okay. Another thing to take uh, to pay attention to is that I change colors. 
So when I'm doing the knit stitches, I did them in white, but when I'm doing the garters, I did them in pearl. So you could do this in one color and it looks good, but this is the way I preferred it. So when we're starting at the back side, um, I'm doing garters with pearls on both sides. So when I'm at the back side, I will be doing pearl as well. And when it's time to do knit stitch at the back side, I will do pearls as well. So what I will be doing it, I will be doing pearl stitches all row, but I will change colors. So the only thing I will do at the first row is pearl stitch, but changing colors. Um, my This row is not my perfect row um, by means of numbers of um, garter stitches, but this one is. So um, you can do better, if you can do better math than I did, maybe you can manage this, but I think it's okay. This is what I mean. You see here I have six, four, six, four, and in the end it finishes perfectly. But at these rows, I have five here, the rest is as usual, but one here, okay? Um, I couldn't fit it, I and one here, yeah. So I begin with making the right border, which is made of six stitches of garter stitch. So I will purl them. Um, the first one I slip. The next five I purl. Once I have six purl stitches, I can start by doing five pink, okay? Because I'm starting from this side, five pink. I told you why five here and why one there. So it's not going to be like that all the time. So what I do is I slip this around. You can make a little uh, knot. And I start doing my pearls. Two, three, four, and five. So I want to repeat, it will be six pinks afterwards. Just five because the one is at the other end, okay? So now I leave the pink, I grab the white back and make sure you don't pull it too much. So make sure you have enough space and I will do four knits. So this is how I do it. Make sure there is enough space here and it's not very tense, okay? Otherwise it will look bad. There are ways to remove these parts, but you don't need that in a cushion. Uh, cover. So as you know, this will be a knit stitch at the front side, but we are doing purl at the back side. When this is finished, you leave your white and you grab back your pink. Okay? So from time to time, your yarn will get tangled and make sure you attend to that. Now I'm going to do six purl stitches and I'm going to make sure it's not very tense here. As you can see here, I finished the row doing six pink, four white, six pink, four white, and I will have six white at the end as border, but I have one extra. It's because I started with five pinks. So what I will do is I will do one pink here, and that will be like that um, at these rows all the time. I will show you what I mean. And now I will finish the border with six purl stitches. Now the next row will be easier because we have 
the colors that will give us some tips. Now when we turn, and let's turn this as well, because this is what we're copying. We will do the complementary row. So um, we will follow the colors. So if it's pink, we'll go with pink. If it's white, we'll go with white. The first six and the last six will be pearl stitches because we will have these garter stitch borders here. The pinks will always be purled. Why? Because they are garter stitch. But when we're at the front row, we will knit the white stitches. Okay? So, besides from the first and last six whites, if we're at the first front side, we will always knit the whites. So let's do it together so it doesn't get confusing. Okay. So first, yes. First, let's do the six garter stitch for the right border. Four, five, and six. Now I'm not changing. Uh, the color that I see. If I see pink, I go with pink. Uh, one thing to remember, never leave your yarn at the front. Okay, always take it to the back when changing colors. Now grab the pink. So the pink is going to be garter stitch, so I will purl it here. So I'm finished with pink. I put it at the back side. Okay, remember to put it at the back side. Grab back your white. I will do knit stitch for four. One, two, three, and four. Now make sure when you're changing colors, you don't have a lot of stretch here okay so make sure it's at ease don't pull so now I'm going to do six pearl stitches with pink so bring pink in the front and make sure you're not pulling a lot Just here so you have it easy two three Four, five, and six. Now, when you're done with the pink, make sure you put it at the back side and you grab your white and make sure you don't pull on it. I know I'm repeating myself, but yeah, these are very important because it might um, sort of ruin your work. Now, I have done knit stitch for four and it's time to do six pink pearls grab your pink bring it in the front don't pull a lot so i hope you get the general idea of this pattern it's definitely not difficult, but you need to pay attention, as it always is. So grab the white and do four knit stitches with white. Now grab the pink. And what's next? Six pearl stitches with the pink. So make sure you have your yarn at the front and do six pearls. So until the end of this row, I will do four white knit, six pink pearls. Until I come 
to the end of this row where I will do six white for the border and I will meet you somewhere around here and I have some untangling to do. So here I am at the end of this row. Uh, I have done four, uh, four white, six pink, white with knit stitch and pinks with pearl. So I have garter here. And now I'm at the end uh, for the border. I will do six pearl stitches with my white yarn. Please, please always remember to leave your um, unused yarn at the back side of your project. Okay, never at the front side. This is what I mean. Don't leave it like this and go on knitting with your white because if you do, then you cannot take this back. Okay, you have to take the whole yarn and insert it from here and pull from the back side, which is not possible. So always make sure that when you're finished using one color, leave it at the back side. Now let's finish this um, row with six white pearls and let's turn back. Yay, now we have completed this row. Let's check how it looks. Ah, so many yarn. And this is how it looks. Now we have done this. Let's turn our sample back as well. Now it's time to do knit stitch. Uh, this, this knit stitch with the white. So we're not going to use our pink yarn at this row. We will go all white. And it will be garter, knit, garter at the front side but at the back side it will be all pearl so it's a easy row i will do one row of pearl stitch only using white yarn only isn't it nice so in this row whether i see white or whether i see pink i don't care i go with white all along and i go only pearl Let's start, but I won't film the whole row because it's so easy. It's such an easy row. Right now I'm doing the garter border. Now I'm finished with the border. Although there is pink here, I don't care. I pearl with my white. White is finished, here is white, yeah, doesn't matter. I go on with my white yarn and I do a full row of pearl stitch at the very end. So I'll see you when this is also finished. So that was easy, wasn't it? Now we have another easy row. We're going to do the complementary row of the one we just did and we're at the front side so at the beginning so we will do all white again the first six and the last six will be pearl and the whole rest will be done in knit stitches here we don't have to worry about the colors again so this is going to be another easy row only pay attention to the first six and the last six uh, stitches and make sure they are purled so we are doing, oh, that was my coffee, sorry. We are doing this row of full white, okay? Let's begin by doing six pearls for the garter stitch. Two, three, Four, five, and six. Now 
the rest of the row until we come here the rest of the row will be knitted the whole row only with white and until you reach the border go on with knit stitch so you see when we're doing this pattern we work a little and then we rest a little so these are the easy rows so enjoy the easy rows i'll see you when i'm finished with this one as well bye bye here i came to the end of the row by doing the stitches and just wanted to remind you that when you arrive at the last six you have to purl them so you have a nice garter stitch border okay now it's time to get back to our pink you remember we do we start the pattern when we're at the back side and you can check that so we will be doing the back side now so it's a good time to start with the pink and i told you before that we're not going to do the pinks on top of each other so we won't do pinks starting here but we will do them starting here so let's turn this back now you can compare we have done this now after doing six rows of garter six stitches of garter for the border we will keep on purling four more and then we will start with the pink we will do six pink four white all will be purled until we arrive at the end okay so let's start let's start by doing Ah, tangling. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start by doing six purl stitches for the border. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now I will do four white pearls. For the pattern one two three and four now i will leave the white i can leave it in the front because this is the back side of my project so when i'm leaving the yarn I've, i'm actually leaving it at the back side of my project okay now it's time to grab the pink that we had left here so make sure you're not pulling on it very tightly make sure it's light there is not tension on it and we will do six purl stitches here very lightly one two three four five and six now leave this one grab the white make sure you're not pulling on it very tightly and do four purl stitch now until the end of this row i will do four white pearls and then six pink pearls until I come to this end where I do the six white pearls for garter stitch let me show you another set and then I'll stop filming one two three four five and six leave the yarn pick up the white time to do four white pearls 
Make sure you're not pulling on it. One, two, three, and four. Now I will keep on doing this at the end. I'll meet you here. Here I am at the end of this row. I have two, four, six for garter, two, four, six for pink. So I will finish off with pink. One. I told you that the first row was not my uh, perfect row, but this one is. This is what I meant. So now when I do six pinks, and the row will be finished so there won't be any extra or missing stitches two four six yes now i will leave the pink grab the white i will do six pearls for the garter stitch and i will be done with this row one two three four five and six so let's flip it now we will do the complementary row of this one meaning what the first six we will purl with white so we have a garter stitch here the last six likewise the rest we will knit with the color we see so if we see white we go white if we see pink we go with pink the pinks we will be purling because we want to have this garter stitch texture okay but the whites we will do knit stitch okay the reason we're doing knit stitch is because then the garter stitch will actually stick out okay it will have more volume so let's begin So we begin with white pearl stitches. Here we go. I have one here, so I'll do five more. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now we are at the front side of our project. So it is very important that we remember to take our yarn and put it at the back side when we're not using it okay now it's important now I grab the pink and what do I do I purl because I do garter stitches with pearls so I purl for six one two three four five and six now take your yarn and hide it at the back side of your project bring back the white and because you're not seeing it you might forget and you might pull on it very tightly just remember remember not to and now we will knit these okay because we want to have this beautiful knit stitches in between our garter pinks we want to have these white knit stitches so it's time to knit with the white for four, four, three, two, and one. Leave it at the back, bring back the pink, bring it to the front, and purl for six. One, two, so once you get the, the logic of it, then you don't have to worry about the pattern really. So I'm illiterate when it comes to writing and reading patterns, but this pattern, I saw it on Pinterest and did some samples, did some mistakes and then figured it out. And I think it's fun doing it that way. So now I'm done with the pink, leave it at the back side, bring back your white, and now it's time to knit four whites and if you have any issues any problems 
uh, anything that doesn't make sense to you, just please, please write down in the comments. I love receiving comments and I try to answer all of them and I try to answer them very fast. So I'm really doing my best. Uh, I'm doing my best in that sense. Time to pink. Bring it in the front and do six pearl stitches. So let me show you how it looks until now, so you can check your work as well. You can see that we have formed the borders beautifully. In the middles, we have the white knits and our pink garter stitch really sticks out. And here, um, only one stitch of the pinks match. Okay, so it's the beginning and at the end. Okay, so that's how I designed it. Here as well, only one stitch match. Other than that, they're not on top of each other. Okay, so I will keep on doing this. I will be using the pink with pearl stitch at the front row and white with knit stitch only here. Remember the last six whites will also be pearled and then I will flip the project and we will see each other again. Now I'm at the end of this row and let's finish it together. So first I will do four knit stitches with the white and then always always remember the last six will be done with pearl. So you have a very handsome looking garter stitch border. Whew, so that was, that required some attention, didn't it? Uh, but now it's time to rest and relax because we have a full row full of pearl stitches only and done with whites only. Okay. Don't change any colors, don't change any stitches, just purl the whole thing with white. I guess I don't need to film that for you, right? So let's meet each other when the full row of white purl is finished. What we're going to do after this is basically repeating what we have done so far. So from starting from this row, I will try to show you how you can manage two colors in two hands so you don't have to deal with tangling and maybe you can go faster and it's less, less frustrating to change colors. So let me purl this row in white and yeah, I couldn't stop. And then we'll talk again. So I finished doing one complete row of pearl stitch with white. Now I'm on the front side of my project. I will do the complementary row of this one, which will be only whites again, six pearl, knit the rest and pearl the last six again. So I will be doing this row here okay start with purl keep on with knit stitches and end with purl all in white and i don't think i need to show you that as well but i'm sure you'll handle it easily but let's start together why not purl three purl four purl five purl Six. Now the border is done. Now let's start knit stitches. No changing colors, no nothing. Just knitting until the very end, until we reach the garter stitch border. The last six stitches. And this is what I will do 
until I reach the garter stitch border. And then I'll do six pearls there. Okay, see you then. So now I think you get the idea because we have done this row, we have done the whites and we have done the second row, second pink, and then we have done the whites. So we will be repeating this as many times as you want until we reach the end and then we'll do another garter border here. So um, you can just keep on doing it by yourself. But you will realize that working with two colors, it will get frustrating sometimes because they tangle a lot and they slow you down a lot. So if you want to level things up a bit, I will show you how to use two colors in two hands and then you don't have to leave one color and pick the other one. You can just um, grab the color you're using and not lose any time. Um, so now let's start. We are here and we will be repeating this, this pattern, the one we did at the beginning. So I will, after I do six stitches of pearl for the border, then I will do five pink. Remember we did five here and one here. And then I'll do four white and then six pink, four white and six pink. Remember the first row. So let's start with the white. And when we come to the pink, I'll show you an alternative way of using colors. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now it's time to do five pink, okay? So instead of leaving this here and grabbing this with my right hand, I will hold on to this, or hold on to the white yarn on my right hand and grab the pink yarn with my left hand the exact same way I grab the white, okay? So I have the pinky and then the index finger, wrap around the pinky and the index finger. So the, I'm not American or British, so I might get confused with the terminology sometimes and I, Try not to use it wrong so I don't confuse you either. But when you're holding the yarn on your left hand, I believe it's called the continental knitting. So that's what I will be doing here. So I will do five, uh, five pink pearls. So this is how I do it. You, <laughs> I couldn't do it, wait. And you wrap it around and you exit. So I'm not very comfortable with it, but once you start doing it, it gets more um, fluent. So this is four, this is five, okay? So time for the white. So make sure you remove the pink by doing this, okay? Just remove it and time for the whites four white pearls. One, two, three, four. And when it's time for the pink, wrap it around <laughs> and pull. You wrap it around and you pull. You wrap it around and you pull. Three. Wrap around and pull. Four. Wrap around and pull. Five. Wrap around and pull. Six. Now remove the pink. It's time for the white. Enter with the white. And then you do, you do white pearls. You might think that um, learning a new skill, it takes so much time that it's not practical at all. But I believe otherwise. 
the beginning part of it it's um, dreadful but once you get accustomed to it then I'm sure you'll be happy that you learned this skill okay so I'm I'm also at the beginning of learning this but um, six but it gets better it gets better trust me and I think it's uh, much more practical than worrying about the yarn tangling and uh, and all the rest so I have made another video a more detailed one on uh, showing how to do this like knitting with two colors and um, I'll put a link to that as well oh that's difficult <laughs> And here we go. Now time for the white. And this is how you should continue with the rest. Okay. And this time I will meet you at the very end of this project, but I briefly want to go over this uh, on the front side the borders the white borders will be pearled um, but the rest the rest of the whites will be done in knit stitch the pinks will always be pearled either on the front side or at the back side okay um, what else uh, make sure one pink um, fits the row but the rest they don't come on top of each other so you have this beautiful pattern and yeah i will see you at the end of the project so here i am uh, here i have counted the number of pink rows and in my case it is 28 and once i have reached 28 rows in the new uh, side I have finished the sample. Now it's time to knit uh, several rows of garter stitch. Uh, I'm saying several rows because you can decide how thick you want the border. And then I will cast off and afterwards I will sew these two sides uh, right on top of my cushion. Uh, I thought about uh, making buttonholes and uh, sewing some buttons but then I decided nah and this will be enough so let's start with um, garter stitch now uh, I'm doing my borders in white and I will do um, three or four rows I don't know now I think three or four rows of garter stitch and then uh, I will cast off uh, so I'm doing garter stitch with pearl stitches on both sides so I will finish that as well and then I will meet you once I'm casting off. So let me show you that I, I'm not going to change colors anymore but keep on with my white. So I will white pearl this row I will turn back and keep on doing white pearl until I have a similar uh, border like this one so see you very very soon so having completed four rows uh, I will start casting off there are many ways of doing that but uh, let me show you how I do it um, I enter two stitches together and I purl them as one and then I transfer this stitch to my left needle and I repeat until uh, 
all the stitches are finished. Oh. So this is how I'm going to do it. I will enter both stitches, throw them as one, and I'll transfer this to my left needle. And that, this is how it will look, um, a finished version. So now both pieces are finished. Um, this piece looks smaller and this one looks bigger. The reason is because I had ironed this one, but I'm not going to iron this. I will just stretch it uh, when I'm attaching it to the other piece, so it should be fine. I couldn't find my um, these stitch markers, I, I, I think they're called. Uh, but what you should do is you should attach pieces around here, here at the corners to make sure um, you're sewing both pieces together um, and you keep the alignment and make sure you sew pieces from the inside okay so I will you can do it many ways I'll do it using a crochet hook and I will attach two pieces uh, always make sure uh, that you check from both ends when doing it and I will do it just using a single crochet. So this is how I will attach two pieces together. One from this side, one from the other side. And I pull through. And one from this side, one from the other side. And, and always in the middle make sure that you are applying the correct amount of tension if you haven't attached any markers it's a good idea to check very very often Um, let me show you how it looks from here it looks like this and from the outside it will look like this okay so one border is done and this is how it will look from the outside and because I have I couldn't find my stitch markers this is the solution I came up with I um, cut some um, pink yarn and I'm going to attach it. I will put one piece here and one here, one here. And as I'm uh, sewing these two ends, I will take them off as I reach that point. Okay, just wanted to show you what I was trying to explain before. Uh, I attached two pieces like this. to Make sure I'm applying the correct amount of tension. And I will start doing the single crochet here. And as I reach this point, I will just remove this and keep on doing it. Okay. And finally, it's finished. Let me show you the texture. Hope you liked it and let me know if you try doing this. I love reading your comments so um, please write down a little comment if you came so far in the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you! Bye!